at this. Here's here. an email. I'm a 35 year old straight white male from Kentucky. I've always dated and been attracted to women, but I experimented with men a handful of times oral. I found that I'm down to uh, for oral sex, so it means getting my dick sucked, but I'm not attracted to men at all. Also, I found that I have to perform first because I'm uninterested after I ejaculate. As long as they orgasm before me, I'm good. But after I ejaculate, uh, I'm no desire to do anything. What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, also, am I being a tease by letting this gay dude? <laughs> am I? Uh, what here does it you say? go. This here we go. Yep. Also, am I being a tease by letting this gay dude eat my ass, knowing he's never going to get in there, no matter how much he licks it? So, what is his question? What the hell's wrong with me? He's not straight. No. I mean, he's leave, as uh, Adam used to say, at least half mo. (laughs) 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 At at least, right? And people debate if that even, you know, what that means, right? Uh, He's he's certainly seems to be. So so he he is he don't date dudes, but he lets dudes blow him as long as they come first. In other words, if once he's once he's had an orgasm, he's no longer interested in, in the partner, right? But so if he can get them off first, then then he can. No, wait a minute. So he just giving out handies? No, he blows them. He's oh, saying, he doesn't yeah. like it though. He doesn't like. No, he likes it as long as he does them first. As long as he hasn't come yet. Yes. Once he come, he has no interest. Oh, in. he can't blow after he blows. He, right. Right. No blow after blow. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's. I mean, to he just sounds own. like kind of a normal dude sometimes. Uh, I feel he's, like some dudes are just like. That. He sounds a little. I mean. If he does get a female partner, he's going to have to sort of well, whatever. If his this is my thing, you correct me if I'm wrong, Tom. But once if you're going to get in a committed relationship that's monogamous, you got to you got to pick a major. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. female partner is not going to dig this as a part time pastime, yeah. regardless of whether you're into guys or not. Let me smell your breath. Like, it's, it's going to be a lot of it's that. It's going to be bad. Or, if you have a, if you decide you want, you find a male partner you want to stay with, he, he men are a little more tolerant, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> it sounds to me, and this is probably a terrible diagnosis, it sounds to me like uh, he just really likes blowjobs, and he's yeah. willing to blow to get blown. Yeah. And he probably sounds like he has a tougher time probably getting blowjobs from women. Maybe. So he's like, man, I, that's how much he likes. I it. know a bar. Uh, interesting. So men are just more more cooperative. You know, we, we don't need all the wine and dining. And you tell me what you like, and I we done, just get shit done. Done and done. Here's a birth control question. It it is different. You know, it it's. I, I was talking to uh, again. This is another Corolla thing. I, was I don't know. If, I mean, I love blowjobs, but I don't think that much. I, yeah, not interested. But but it, I was either talk- way, gay's good. Gay's good, yeah, of course. Gay's good. Gay is of course good. But I w- I was talking to Adam Kroll again about uh, that Samantha character in Sex in the City, and I was like, ah, you know, I talked to the woman that wrote the original Sex in the City book, and she said that that character was a sex addict, drug addict who died of drug addiction. Mm. And I went, well, yes, that's that's who that is. Mm-hmm. And Adam said, oh no no, she that character is what a gay man would be if he were a woman. And and okay. I thought, oh, well, a gay man writes Sex in the City, so that's he's right. I mean, that's that's not how women right. are. Right, they're not quite like that. Uh, but a gay man, were he to be a female, that's exactly that's how yeah. that's how he would be. Uh, my fiance stopped birth control in December. Has had only one period in February. We're now in April. She's taken four pregnancy tests. How long till it reaches normalcy? Um, usually, at six months, people are back menstruating normally. Ooh, shameful fantasies. Uh, let's see. I've had this fantasy of being forced to wearing women's clothes, wearing makeup, and then being pegged. I also fantasize about sex with um, male to female trans women and sometimes being forced, again, more like talked into, to perform bisex acts with men. What do you make of this so far, Dr. Very Freud? niche. Very niche. Niche, but, but the fact that he's out of control, he's being forced into it, suggests that maybe this is something he secretly harbors but can't sort of... Bring allow, himself. allow himself. Yeah, he has to be yeah, yeah. forced into it. Uh, my wife was shocked and disgusted when I told her. She brought some lingerie for me to wear, though, and a strap-on has been very supportive. She has started to show a true desire to mildly feminize and dominate me. I guess the big thing outside the bedroom, I'm very masculine. I build and ride Harleys, drive 4 by 4 shoot guns. I'm a Marine veteran. 
Am I gay, bisexual, or a normal guy that likes kink, taboo sex? This is actually a great question. Oh. <laughs> is, it, is it wrong it's to the... want to relish control and be used by my wife and trans women or sometimes men? What do you say? <laughs> he's done it all. He does it all, right. He's, he's, he's done it all. Yeah. You got to keep exploring. Oof, who knows where this is going? I, look, man, <laughs> Marine, bikes, builds. Pegs. Hey, man, give me, a, give me something else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with this dude. This dude, this dude, this is a human being. Hey, this, 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 this like, guy's give, living. Give me another task. <laughs> so here, here's really what I what I would say. So he has a wife. Love it. I this love is it. back to picking a major, though, right? He's got yes. a wife. So thankfully, and how she, honest is this dude to for, the, to, for to, him to tell her? And the, how great is she to start to participate? She's like, hey, yeah. he keeps he keeps it. Yeah. No, this is awesome. This is actually awesome. That's so, a good relationship right there. So here's the problem. Here, there's, there's only, here's the, so, so these are all deep fantasies that he's obviously, you know, is having trouble bringing to consciousness. The wife is into it now and helping him with it and letting him act out all these fantasies. Mm -hmm. The only sort of, and good, good on you both, go, go at it. The only problem is, is this the beginning of a more complete transformation? Yeah. And he's going to have to really kind of think about that and, and struggle with that. Because sometimes when you dip your toe in, you go, you, you keep going. You, you don't pull it back out. You, like, yeah. which is which is real, right? It's really in him. It's not that he's uh, sort of going down some some path that he should never right. have opened. It's not that at all. It's that this is in him, and we don't know where it's really going yet. The fact that he's exploring it. But I, my sense is it's probably going to stay in pegging, dominating, because dominating is a big part of this for him. That's what. Well, that's my question. When you see stories like this, cases like this, is this? Does it normally go further? Or it can. Or it does. People kind of. I, I don't think I can generalize. It can. It doesn't feel like that's what this is. Okay. Uh, but it's interesting that he sort of has compensated the other way, where he's a man, man rides the Harleys, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Maybe there is, but maybe this is enough to to massage that part of it. I like so the speak. communication between he and his wife. I love it. I'm a big I love fan it. of that. I think these these two get uh, the couple of the year award. Good for them. Uh, and and uh, he he said, let me ask this question. You are not gay. Uh, you are not bisexual. You have a wife, and you are committed, and you seem to be fine with that. Am I a normal guy that wants kinky taboo sex with a taste for the wild side? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, pretty I mean, much. That's what it sounds like. We'll see, right? We'll see. And Tony and I are wondering, is this going to, will you continue to open up other interesting feelings and ideas? We'll see. 